Well, he claimed he could cure a child's cancer, according to one father. Tonight, never before heard allegations against accused sex predator Nathan Chasing Horse. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has this story you'll only see here. We were devastated. I think I just went into um, fight mode. Jason Smith says he tried to do everything he could to save his son. We have to do what we have to do to um, try to get him better. At just 13 years old, a diagnosis of leukemia. I just remember hearing those words and, and then having to look at um, his mom and, and him and, and they broke down. Justice Smith Hilton was a hockey player a champion dancer at powwows, and from birth, he had been raised in his native culture through teachings and ceremony. His energy uh, was pure. He was beautiful. He says Justice underwent chemotherapy for 18 months, and while it appeared to be helping, it also caused complications. He struggled. The family then turned to Nathan Chasing Horse, an actor from the movie Dances with Wolves who claims he's a medicine man. We were under the impression that this man could save our son. They drove from the Toronto area where they live to Las Vegas in early 2020. He says he gave Chasing Horse and his several wives gifts and food. And then Chasing Horse performed what's referred to as a dark room ceremony. To us, it was... Uh, very powerful. And how was Justice feeling after that first ceremony? He was um, in high hopes. He was excited. Uh, he was looking forward to the future. He says they later learned Chasing Horse would want them to return for three more phases of his so-called treatment, which included herbal drinks, what he claimed were natural antibiotics, and Phoenix Tears, which he claimed were the highest form of cannabis to help manage pain. Something like a doctor you put your faith in. When do you realize things are not improving and you start to question chasing horse? It was actually during the fourth phase. He says while justice appeared to be deteriorating, chasing horse claimed it was the cancer leaving his body. And when Jason questioned him, he was shocked at his answer. He responded with a threat. And he said he was going to take the cancer out of my son and put it in my left testicle. Four months after the family turned to Chasing Horse, Justice took his final breath. It's devastating um, to lose a child under those circumstances. Uh, there, there really is no words for it. Also, State of Nevada versus Nathan Chasing Horse. In January of 2023, Chasing Horse was arrested in Clark County for sex crimes against children, sex trafficking, and more. Now he also faces federal charges. There's a warrant in Montana and another in Canada. The 46-year-old man is accused of victimizing Indigenous women and children for two decades. Now Jason says he believes he knows why his family may have been a target. I think there was motive to kind of uh, groom my daughters. He says Chasing Horse was never alone with his daughters, but he does recall Chasing Horse disappearing for hours with his son at least twice toward the end of the teen's life. It was questionable. I'm not sure what would happen on these trips. He says he believes Chasing Horse and his alleged cult known as the Circle manipulated his family during the most vulnerable time. When people say, well, if you knew, then why would you... You know, why would you be associated? Well, you don't really know, um, especially when your um, your focus is on somebody like my son uh, with an illness. When your focus is on them 100 percent, you don't see what's going on around you. Do you believe Nathan Chasing Horse is a medicine man? No, I don't. Do you believe he's a predator? Yes, I do. Do you believe Nathan Chasing Horse is a cult leader? Yes. He says he believes Nathan Chasing Horse should remain behind bars and also be held accountable for taking away his son's chance at life. Do you feel like you paid the ultimate price as a parent? Yes. Yes, we did. There's nothing worth more than your loved ones, right? And especially your children. There's no price that you can put on, you know, that kind of connection, that kind of love. I, yeah, I lost my best friend. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. 
Jason Smith estimates that he spent $20,000 on the trips back and forth from Canada to Southern Nevada, and that includes money he spent on food and gifts for Chasing Horse and his wives. Chasing Horse was indicted by a grand jury and expected back in court next week.